Hello, 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 my beautiful followers. Today is Sunday, December 29th. And if you're new to my channel, I wholeheartedly welcome you. Do me a favor, please, guys. Go below, subscribe to my channel, click that bell so you can get my notifications, like, share, and comment. They're all greatly appreciated. Today is Soulful Sunday. And I'm going to pick up where I left off on yesterday. And I was speaking about falling. Well, today I had a different type of symptom that I can recall it happening when I was actually a little girl. And it would get to the point where my hand would freeze up and I would not be able to stretch them out. And I would have tingling. And then as I got older, it would stop and it would start. It would stop and it would start. I mean, it would fall like it would go like this and I could not stretch them out I would have to take my hand and flatten them out or have someone to do so and this is when I was probably about hmm, seven or eight years old and then as I got older it still did it off and on and it does to this day but the only difference was when I got older my hand would be completely cold it would feel like it's frozen if i touch you you would not feel my hand as being cold you would feel it as being natural mine's felt extremely cold and then i had tingling tingling and tingling and and it was just very weird and that was hence another symptom of ms so with the tingling and the cold feeling i was told oh gosh back about maybe 10 years ago or longer, maybe about 10, 15 years ago, I was told to go and have a nerve conduction test done. And with that being said, I had I went through the process. And then when I found out it was going to be painful, back then I was, a quite, I was quite a chicken when it came to pain. But since I have MS, pain doesn't even phase me. But I was like, oh, I'm not going through that. So I let it go. But the symptom never stopped. It continued and it continued and continued. Then it got to one point where just the outside of my hand would hurt. Just outside and probably to the first, the pinky and you know, the ring finger would be numb. I couldn't feel anything. I would pick up a hot skillet. It wouldn't be hot. I would put my hand in hot water, boiling hot water. It would not. I had no feeling. So the feeling has not come back. I still have those symptoms. And with that being said, uh, fast forwarding to 2013, when I was first diagnosed with MS, that was on the checklist. Do you have tingling? Do you have numbness? Can you feel? Can you do this? Can you do that? And pretty much I checked off every box on the chart. And it that was that was very helpful with for, for being diagnosed with MS. But again, the numbness and tingling is still there and it's only in the right hand. So everything that's MS related to me is all on the right side from my lesions on my brain to me dragging my right foot to the numbness and tingling and coldness in my right hand. At one point they were treating me for side, not sciatica, um, carpal tunnel. And they were doing all of this work on me. Physical therapy was beating me down with my, with the physical therapy and it was, I was bruised and come to find out it was not it was not carpal tunnel at all. So when I was diagnosed in 2013, my neurologist, I complained about it, complained about it. He says, you know what? I'm going to have another doctor come in and we're going to check your nerves. So they did the nerve conduction test and it wasn't as bad as people said. By the way, I love for people to tell me things are going to hurt, really, really hurt. So then I prepare myself for the worst. And then when I go through it, it's not bad at all. And I'm like, oh, what? Punks. That doesn't hurt at all. So, but anyway, he did the nerve conduction test and he said it is not carpal tunnel. It is MS related. It is not a pinch nerve, but some of it was a, a hint of a pinch nerve. So he subscribed me a brace to wear and I'm supposed to wear it whenever I feel numbness or pretty much all the time because it never goes away. So this is a symptom that has not come back. The, the feeling has not come back in my hand nor my foot. And it's numb and my hands always, my right hand is always freezing cold. You may not feel it, but I definitely feel it. So that's another symptom that has come up with, um, that I can recall back from the day going forward was my hand would cramp up and I couldn't straighten them out. And then it was tingly and 
and then hurting. So that is a symptom to be aware of, guys. So if you're having numbness, tingling, or anything of that nature, please get yourself checked. That is a MS symptom, but it could be a number of autoimmune diseases, lupus, uh, it could be a, a number of them. So just go get yourself checked. Put that on your box of things that you could check off that this is what's going on with you. Now, I'm going to shut cut this short, but I will tell you that today I was out. I was trying to be gangster with my hat on and whatnot, and I took my niece out driving, teaching her how to drive, and she did really well. And But my whole time I was out with her, my entire lower part of my body, both legs and from my waist down, tingling, 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 tingling. So I have, I put that on my checklist so that I can speak to my neurologist about that when I go to see him on in February. And that's, and I'll keep, I keep notes. Like I told you, get your records and you, you mark your, your symptoms, mark them down because but you better believe it will help you when you're trying to get diagnosed. So with that being said, the tingling was, was in full force today. And I cannot wait till they find out what's going on with all that tingling. It's very annoying. But with that being said, I want to thank you very much for coming out to join me today, Sunday, December 29th. Do me a favor, guys. Please go down below and subscribe and click the bells for the notification. Like, share, and comment. It is all greatly appreciated. And so I'm going to do my, my regular. Oh, yeah. Last night I didn't have it. But today I have my cup of tea. Mm, it is so delicious. So that's me and my cup of tea and MS. We're battling. Okay, so I'll see you on the next video. I thank you so very much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and share and, and Rick click that bell. So thank you again for joining me today. I love you very much and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. You take care. Bye-bye now.